Hello everyone, welcome to Ekeda platform and this is Ravin Jangir here, your electrical faculty. In this video, I'm going to dictate about the, the topic, the classification of HVDC links. So these HVDC links are actually, I have shown in between the two converting stations that in the fundamental line diagram, from generating to load side for the HVDC system. So in between the converting station number one and the converting station number two, you had the HVDC links and it is of for different, different times. Okay, so in that diagram, I have shown only the one single line and that single line is actually related with the monopolar HVDC links. Okay, now one by one, I have to, I am going to dictate about that. Now look at this. So if I talk about the classification of the HVDC links, so there are the three classification are broadly classified here. The one is your monopolar, monopolar HVDC link. Second is your bipolar, bipolar HVDC link. Okay, and the third is your homopolar homopolar HVDC link. So in this slide, I'm going to show you the first one that is the monopolar HVDC links. So monopolar, monopolar HVDC, HVDC link. Okay. Now, so what is the basic diagram? If I talk about the homo monopolar HVDC link, then I will, well, firstly, I, I am going to draw the basic fundamental diagram and that is, uh, that is like this. Okay, and here it will come. One second. It will come like this. It will come like this here. There are the two converting stations, okay? And here, the thyristor is like this, in the downward direction, and it is actually the grounded one. Here, the thyristor is like this, and it is also grounded one. And this is actually a line, you can see the C or underground line, okay? Don't see. Now, this line, is going like this. So it is having a transformer set, converting transformer you can see. And here is the bus bar. So this is the basic fundamental diagram and the current will flow like this. This is the current I. And this is actually ground. This is actually a ground. This is the converting station and the converting station number two. So this mon monopolar HVDC link, what it does, what it does, if I talk about the monopolar HVDC link, it is having, I'm uh, talking about the different points. So it is having, the first point is, it is having only one conductor, only uh, one conductor, okay? And that conductor is actually, this, that, this one conductor is actually a negative conductor. This is actually negative conductor. Negative and the positive conductor is uh, decided uh, on the basis of the corona and negative conductor I choose because the corona effect is less as come as in the more positive conductor okay so generally we choose for for defining the links the negative conductor we choose okay because it is having the low corona effect in this now if I talk about another point if I talk about related with this the second point I can write that it uses it uses ground okay ground and this is the ground okay ah, okay so it uses the ground or you can see say that is the c return okay guys now the third point i can add that sometimes sometimes it uses a metallic metallic link or conductor so this is the homopolar HVDC link. The one thing you have to remember, it is having only the one conductor and that conductor is actually a negative, 
negative conductor. Why the negative conductor is chosen? Because it is having the low corona effect as compared to the positive conductor. And this current will flow like this and it will have the underground return or you can say the C return. It, these key terms you have to remember for writing your exams. Now look at other point. So the first is completed, the, that is the monopolar HVDC link. Now we will talk about the bipolar HVDC link. So this is the diagram for the bipolar HVDC link. If I talk about the bipolar HVDC link, it is having the two conductors. It is having the two conductors and also the two sets of converting transformers. This current is going like this, okay? And this current is from right to left and it is having the negative conductors. So I can write, second point is bipolar HVDC link, bipolar HVDC link. So I can easily write that it is having, it is having two, two conductor set, two conductors set. Remember this point, okay? Now, it is also having, it is also having two sets of converting transformer, converting transformer, transformer. Okay, guys. And the third point, and the third point, these uh, conductor actually are kind of the bundle conductors. So I can write that the consisting, it is, it consist, it consist the bundled conductor, bundled conductor. I hope that you remember the what is the bundled conductor and the composite conductor. There is a difference between the bundled and the composite conductors. So that is actually explained uh, in power system transmission, uh, transmission and distribution chapter. The bundled conductor, it consists, okay, it consists the bundled conductor, okay. Now, each pole, each pole operate at, each pole operate at equal, equal currents, okay. Now, there is a zero current, zero current flowing in these DC links. Okay, now if any one of the conductor, this one is important one, okay, if any of the conductor gets failed, then other one, uh, if one of the conductor is failed, look, if one of the conductor is failed, then only the one conductor will remain and that will behave like a monopolar, okay? That will behave like this one, okay? So it will behave like the monopolar link and the supply will uh, supply system will be maintained for the further uh, time being. So if any of the conductor gets failed, so I can say that it will, it will, behave as monopolar monopolar link it will behave as a mono, monopolar link this is an important one. so it is having the two conductor sets and each conductor set having the two converting transformer okay and uh, this is having the zero ground return Okay, each pole, uh, each pole operate at the equal current value. If any of the conductor gets failed, suppose one of the conductor gets failed due to the some faults or abnormal conditions, okay, then it will behave as a monopolar link. It will behave as a monopolar link. Now, now we are uh, moving up to the second one. Uh, one thing you can add here, one thing you can add here, this is the grounded in between them. So if I, if I have to find the voltage value, then each and every one have the voltage value V by 2. If from this to this, okay, if from here to here it is the total value V, then each one will have the two values that is the V by 2 and the V by 2 here. Here it will be a V by 2 and the V by 2. So at it is uh, grounded at the midpoint. So voltage will be voltage value will be halved. Okay, this one uh, you have to remember only. Now in the third one third topic 
is homopolar. Third topic is homopolar. And the homopolar link, if I talk about the homopolar link, it is uh, not generally used. Okay. Generally, the only the monopolar links and the bipolar links are widely accepted for uh, the uses or you can say that for the transmission purposes. The, in the homopolar links, we are not using. In homopolar link, the diagram is same, but the difference is here the thyristors, look at this, here the thyristor, both are in the upward direction and here the both are in the downward directions. But if you look at this point, okay, here the both, uh, this, this thyristor one, the upper one is in the downward direction and this is changed to the upward direction and these grounding potential are shown in this di diagram like this. This is called the C return, okay. It is also having, so I can uh, add the point, it is also having the two or more conductors, two or more conductors, more conductors. And these two or more conductors, I can say that all having the same polarity, all having same polarity, all having the same polarity, okay. Now, the second point I can add that always, uh, if I talk about the homopolar link, it always uses metallic link or you, or you can say the ground return or you can say the ground return as same as the monopolar link, but not in the bipolar links, okay? That was absent, this point is absent in the bipolar links but in the monopolar link and you can say the homopolar link it uh, both having the metallic and the ground return metallic and the ground return this is the metallic and the ground return okay and the current directions are decided and here these uh, conductors both conductors are having the same polarity and these polarities are the negative polarity i have already explained why the negative conductors are chosen as compared to the positive conductors now look at this the poles are poles are generally operated generally operated in a parallel way in a parallel way okay so what happens when we operate in parallel way then i can say that the costing due to the insulation the insulation costing reduces and add this one point as compared to as compared to as compared to monopolar or you can say the bipolar link bipolar links these are not used okay so generally these are not used okay uh, the widely accepted uh, links are the monopolar links and the bipolar links. In the monopolar links, we have the only one conductor. Bipolar links, we have the two conductor, but there is no ground return. And in the homopolar link, in the homopolar link, we have uh, the two uh, two conductors with the same polarity, but there is a ground return. This is the difference you have to remember. And one thing you remember that the negative conductor are chosen because that have the low corona effect as compared to the positive conductor. I hope you have underst uh, understood up to this point. Thank you.